because mm -hmm. he's not the greatest, but he's funny. He yells, he screams, his chat memes him. Like that is kind of where I see myself kind of ending up in a sense. Yeah. So I want to do more stuff like that. Like I love how Tim spends the first hour and a half of his stream in literally just chatting, reacting to videos, watching this, talking about topics. And it, 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 it fuels all of his content for his second channel. Like, chat will bring up a topic of like i think one of it was like the mandela effect yeah and tim went on this whole thing and it was a great it was a great video yeah so like that's the type of shit that i want to do more more like kind of still be in warzone but venture into like the style that like you are kind of doing as well where like you're not just sticking to gaming like you're reacting to other things talking about other things and like yeah that's kind of where and just being like a full personality and entertainer within Twitch. Yeah, and I the the thing with me is I I decided pretty early on that I didn't want to just stick to one game. But the the issue with that is if you play everything, you know, not everybody's going to be into that game, so it's mm -hmm. definitely a slower way to grow, but I, I definitely think it's a safer way cuz now I mean, I could literally play whatever and I average around 350 to 400 viewers. Yeah, that's awesome. But it definitely you're feels a, like you're a variety streamer. Yeah, but it definitely feels like I'm I'm kind of plateauing a little bit on Twitch. It's it's like I said, focusing more on YouTube, and then you know with how much I do on TikTok, it feels like Twitch is kind of I don't know, like I just haven't changed too much. But um, so like that, I see that, and I'm starting to to realize that, and I'll start focusing I mean, on it more. Twitch, yeah, Twitch has been that's a whole nother topic. Twitch has been r rough for a lot of people, like. And, you know, I feel like that's what everyone was doing during quarantine. Everyone was streaming. Everyone was watching Twitch. And, mm -hmm. you know, now that, like, people are getting vaccinated and restaurants and all this shit is opening back up and, like, yeah. like life's getting back to normal, people don't have the time to just sit on their phone or their computer and watch Twitch. Yeah. So even, like, for myself, dude, like, I was averaging over 100 i was at partner numbers i applied for partner twice i got denied and i was like you know what i'm gonna wait i'm you know like i'm gonna wait until i'm averaging like 150 close to 200 to where like it's a for sure like i'm gonna get it and then this happens and i remember one stream my viewers were like i looked over and it was like 28 and i was like what the what happened you know yeah, and like it bummed me out for a while. I took a break, like a week. I went to Mexico. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just mentally just release. And I came back with like a better mindset. And now I'm back in like 60s. The other day I had 96, no raid, no host. So like, it, you know, I just think it's just, it's just pushing through it. I mean, oh, for sure. I remember watching a video of Tim the Tapman talk about when he was playing Black Ops 3 or I Black Ops it, yeah. 2. I can't remember. And he was averaging like 500 plus. And then the next COD came out and he was down to 20 viewers. Yeah. And he was like, I almost quit. Yeah. It's that's, like, a, obviously that's a good video. My shit wasn't the same like level, but like that's kind of how I felt. Like I was at partner numbers and then I just shopped down and I was yeah. like, and I think Warzone, the state of it, has a lot to do with that, too. Oh, yeah. Like, people are like, fuck this game. Like, I don't want to watch the shit. Dude, I, and, I, I, we could talk about Warzone, too, for sure. But I, yeah. I was... I, so, I'm still waiting to see, because it's definitely interesting, because I've never been through this. But I've talked to some mm -hmm. other streamers who have been streaming for a couple years more than me. And they mm -hmm. said that what's going on right now with Twitch is normal. It's just... The end of the, the summer's about to start. Everybody's focused on, you know, trying to keep get their grades up. If, yeah, uh, I get, get a lot get, of do that. Do well in finals. Um, Sorry, I couldn't like make that. it to the stream. Yeah. I was doing my homework. Yeah, like yeah, that happens. E so, so every every week, you should see a small increase because people are gonna finally be done with school. Uh, right now, I would say it's about fifty percent are done. Uh, I keep doing polls every yeah, week. Here I am. I, I keep doing polls, and I'll be like, you know, how many weeks of school do you have left? And it'll be like, I'm done. I you know, I have. One week, One week, two, two weeks, week, three, three weeks. Week, yeah. I got summer school. <laughs> I put that in there. <laughs> but yeah, right now it's. I would say it's about fifty percent are done, and I definitely see like my numbers uh, have slightly gone up. Are coming? Yeah, they're yeah, yeah they're starting to pull back up. But I would I would say about four or five weeks ago I was averaging about six hundred, and now I'm averaging about 
like 375 to 400 so it's definitely i i've noticed it too but i i from what people told me it's just it's a normal cycle it you'll see it bump you'll see it go down right before everybody gets out of school and then as the summer you know ramps up it'll get better and then it'll go down again when everybody goes back to school and then it'll go up during the holidays and then it's just it repeats itself mm -hmm. and hopefully you know every time you go back into people going back to doing school and stuff like that you'll have more than you did before that's the goal um yeah but the, for the, sure yeah i think the biggest thing is definitely just to push through because there's there's tons of people who see that drop and they go you know what this is dying like it's i, I gotta do something you know I'm, and they quit so you have to bro it, it, oh my god it's like this it's whole journey has made me hate numbers with a fucking passion dude like i, I it just yeah man and I, it that, sorry no i was just gonna say that's why that video you brought up with tim the tap man definitely like spoke to me because like like you said he was averaging a ton of viewers and all of a sudden it was like one day boom he just you know and he was he was like was that it you know was that the peak like and what yeah, else dude. can you think man you know and, and uh, uh yeah yeah he said he said you got to focus on the people you have there now stop worrying about that that's why anytime somebody comes in they're like bro the stream is dying i'm like bro what what stream you got man what's going on you know like what the I'm... shut up <laughs> yeah like on my rant video someone commented um who actually follows or he said your dog shit bro who actually follows this weirdo for real i go to his profile and it, his and in his bio it says twitch streamer and so I just comment, have a nice life, and I and good luck with your Twitch career, heart. Because I'm just like, really, bro? Like, you're uh, a Twitch dude. streamer. You got like ten followers on TikTok, and you're asking people who follow me, like, yeah. You, but those kind of people, they they don't. It's it's people projecting their own it. their own insecurities and failures onto you. That's what they're doing. One hundred percent. 